Hi everyone, this is a quick tutorial on how to play Blook It's today. This is going to be a little different than what you're used to doing. However, it's really simple. First, now that your Chromebooks are open or should be open, you need to open your browser. In this case, we are opening Google Chrome since you're on a Chromebook. Once you've got Google Chrome opened, you're going to go up here to your waffle or your Rubik's Cube, or your dice block, whatever you call this little group of buttons up here. So click on your waffle and find Google Classroom. Click on Google Classroom to open it. Feel free to pause this video until everybody has kind of caught up with this step. Once you've opened up your Google Classroom, you need to find the one for exploratories for your grade level. As you can see, I have everyone's, but let's say that we're in fourth grade today. This will work the same for everybody. You're going to go to the Classwork tab at the very top in your Google Classroom for Exploratories. Then scroll down until you find the Music section. The most recent activity you'll find says Blook It Games, and it's got some joysticks and controllers on it for fun. Once you click on it, it has some directions for you and all of the links to the games. I'm going to click on View Material so it takes up my whole page. Here's what you need to do. The links below will take you to various Blook It games. You're going to be reviewing the new rhythms we focused on this week. The first link is Tower Defense. Number two is Cafe. Number three is Factory. Number four is Crazy Kingdom. And number five is Tower of Doom. Unfortunately, the other games like Crypto Hack and whatnot are not able to be played right now because they are games that require multiple people like Battle Royale. You can't have a Battle Royale against yourself. You have to have other players. You are not allowed to host your own Blook It. We will be doing those activities within the next couple weeks during class when we do some more review games, but today is just individual review. So the games right here, these five links can only be played alone, but you can still be competitive against your classmates. So you and a partner or a small group can see who gets the most answers correct at the end of the game or gets the highest score. Um, or you can do which person in your group can finish the game first with the best score or which person can make it the longest in their game and survive. So there's lots of different ways to play. You only need to click these links and then enter a nickname. You do not need to log in or create an account to play. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Tower Defense, the first one. It's my favorite game. I click on the link and see how it just automatically says join a game. You enter your nickname. Whoops. And once you enter your nickname, you click the arrow, select new game. And you'll notice that I have actually played through these quite a few times, like I made it to like round 21. Um, you can just hit replace game if you already have one or um, select new one. There is a new map this time, abandoned mine. And then of course yours will do something different than mine. You can ignore this part. I get more tokens, but apparently I am in 11th place in comparison to the people who played against me that day. I did get 98% of the questions right though. Goodness gracious. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue. If you don't know how to play the game, it's going to ask you, would you like a quick tutorial? Make sure you say yes if you don't know how to play. It will give you directions. Click the next button once you've read them. That way you can be walked through the entire game and it'll show you what to do. So heading back to Google Classroom, all you do is select one of the links. So Tower Defense is one, Cafe is two, Factory is three, Crazy Kingdom is four, and Tower of Doom is five. Select the one that you want to play, and it's going to open up a new tab at the top on your browser here. It's like a new little file, um, like a little tab up here. Enter your nickname. Make sure it's school appropriate, please, because I do get to see who plays. Then select New Game. If you don't know how to play, select yes for a new tutorial. If you already know how to play, just say no. Read the question. They are all going to be, how do you count this rhythm? For example, this one is ta rest. Found the answer. Click the answer. When it says click anywhere to go next, you don't have to move your mouse or your trackpad to either of these. You can click wherever you want. 
then choose a card to continue the game. If you have any questions about this, your substitute may not be familiar with Book It, so you need to find someone in your classroom who has an idea of how to play. Let's say you clicked on one, like the cafe. You clicked on the second one, you entered your nickname, hit new game, and all of a sudden you found out that you didn't know how to play and you already clicked no. No big deal. Just exit out of the tab. You can say leave and open it again. Type in your nickname. Uh oh, I can't play that one. There we go. Select new name and then tell it you want a tutorial. Really simple. Good luck. Feel free to post a class comment if you did something extraordinary during your game today or got like a super killer awesome score. Feel free to post those in the class comment section. Make sure that you're being respectful and good sports through your game today. You should have headphones with you, so please be sure that you are using those. If you don't have headphones, you'll need to keep your volume turned down relatively low so that you do not disrupt the friends around you. Have a great time today. I'm looking forward to seeing your scores on these games today. You are welcome to play these games multiple times because this is the focus of the lesson today. If you have any questions, feel free to po uh, post them on the comments. And if I am able to, I will respond uh, when I can. I will see you guys next week. Bye.